Good morning, everybody. Uh, felt led to get on here this morning. Um, made the video the other day. Uh, just learned that, you know, crap hit the fan in Israel and didn't really understand the extent of it. They've been fighting and squabbling and incursion after incursion. And But, man, you talk about perilous perilous times uh, going to the next level it just did so we were talking about last video um, God only knows how bad it's going to wind up getting and what the different definition of what he meant of perilous times but boy it just went off the chart especially for all the folks in Israel and in Gaza and uh, the, the, the whole Middle East. Um, so we're here and uh, we're dealing with it. Um, it I, I really have a gut feeling that what's going on right now is really gonna have a, a major effect on our country. Um, financially, uh, oil is already uh, taken off on price and so uh, this has just worldwide implications. Um, it's going to affect everyone. Um, but man, this is, this is the precursor. Um, um, this is, this is getting ready for what's going to happen. Um, as far as the rapture is concerned, as far as this, uh, when they, you know, the seven years of peace and safety, uh, they just signed that deal a couple of weeks ago in New York. And, and so I, this may be where the antichrist shows up and, and negotiates and confirms and expands this seven year peace agreement. Uh, but we're out of here before he shows up. So, Boy, we we are right there. Um, it just went to another level as far as being uh, this this rapture can be could be happening any time. So I, I just felt led um, to to get on here this morning and say that the perilous times just went to the next level. Um, but uh, um, just now getting daylight, we're fogging in this morning. Uh, we had rain Saturday Sunday supposed to be a beautiful week um highs in the upper 40s lows down right at freezing but uh, um we're just going to keep occupying we're going to keep plowing away we're going to be working our field we're going to be uh taking care of what we're in the middle of here and just keep going that's what god's you know calling us all to do um keep working away occupy keep doing our thing. Um, um, and so that's what we're going to do. And man, we had a, uh, a real blessing, um, uh, over, and I just want to shout out a praise and you know who you are, Joe. Um, you know, he said he was praying for us and praying for me and my family. And, and I said, yeah, pray that God send me some more cash so I could keep Uriah around for another, <laughs> you know, keep him here, keep paying him. And so uh, that gentleman donated to us a thousand dollars, and so uh, hallelujah, God bless you, sir, for doing that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna keep Uriah uh, around and uh, uh, let him just hang out and hopefully have a safe place that's where he can get away from all the other family crap that he's having to deal with, and just hang out with us. And we're just gonna work together and hang out and. And, uh, um, you know, do the man stuff and, uh, get some things, get some more done. So I'm going to flip the camera around and stand by. Let me just kind of wanted to give you guys, it's a beautiful morning, even though the weather's soup, but to me, it's beautiful, man. God created all this. So, um, but yeah, we're going to get back up there and set the rest of the trusses. The trust guy's coming tomorrow and he's down at Homer this, this morning uh, setting trusses. And, uh, so we're going to, just gonna, 
uh, wind up setting the rest of them. And uh, Andy and I worked on our blocking, got everything squared up, everything's perfect. And we have a game plan on on the rest of this and the bracing and making sure that this thing is just as stout as it can be. So, I mean, I'm, I'm getting to do the desire of my heart. I've wanted to build my own house and build this building my entire life. And, and God is giving me the desire of my heart. Um, and so, man, I can't wait. Um, I have home church. This hangar is going to be, be our, our, our home church where, um, I, I mean, we want to cook lunch and, uh, have home church and then eat, um, break some bread, pray, whoever it takes. So that's why, you know, that's why I'm building this place, not for my own personal enjoyment, but to share with other people what God shared with us. That's the whole J.P. Dunhamus Lodge. That's why I'm, that's the vision I got when I, when I, when God led us here, gave me this land. And, and I wanted to build a place where I can invite everybody to come up here and, uh, come visit, come stay, come hang out and, uh, go do some stuff and, 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 um, get away from the lower 48 and enjoy what the Lord's, uh, handiwork is up here, man. It's an awesome place. Beautiful. Nice job, God. You're, you're our, the ultimate landscape architect and, uh, engineer. He's a, I mean, he's everything. He's the ultimate of everything. But, uh, um, we're praying for the peace of Jerusalem. We're, we're praying for all these families. It's, it's horrible that God's chosen people are suffering, but man, he is, they've suffered throughout history. Um, and you know, they're, they're just like the rest of us, sinful people and, and, you know, don't follow God all the way and don't follow the word. Uh, like, I mean, so um, you know, God said they'd get hit and get pretty, they'd get pretty wounded towards the end here. And so, uh, but he, he is going to defend them. He is going to protect them. He is going to, uh, not let them get wiped off the map like everybody over there right now wants to do. And, 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 so I, I'm not an expert on all of that, but from what I understand, um, there, there, he's going to make it so that there's no denying. Everybody will know that, that he has stepped in and protected them. And I'm not for sure at what point he does that, but, um, you know, I know that he's, 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 he's going to let them survive. He's going to, they're going to get wounded. They're going to get whacked. But um, he is going to protect them, and uh, he is going to make it so that everybody on the planet knows that he is who he says he is, and that those are his people, and that um, you know he is the God that uh, he is. So we're we're praying for everybody. It's heart wrenching. Um, you know, I I got on the interweb last night. I didn't watch a whole lot of video, but. Uh, I watch enough to know that it's, you know, there's some conflicting reports on the number of dead and, and I, I am dumbfounded that Israel got hit that hard. Um, and, but, uh, God has a reason for everything. And, and so, um, but yeah, we just went to the, went to the next level on perilous times. So, um, for them, obviously physically, physical peril. And then, uh, obviously for us, we're not quite there yet. I don't know what's going to happen, but, uh, we all need to be prepared as best we can, uh, for whatever possibilities may show up. Um, and then, if it does get real crappy here and the crap does hit the fan and it, it does get, we need to be prepared as best we can. And everyone needs to be thinking ahead about that. This test on our phones, I didn't acknowledge that test. I didn't open my phone. I didn't do anything, but I guarantee you 
if our government wants to shut everybody's communication off at one, all at once, they can do it. Shut down the interweb, shut down our phones, sh you name it. They can cut us off in a heartbeat. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the Lord's going to allow. But I'm just, I'm to the point where, I mean, we have had hundreds of thousands, if not in the millions of military age people, men, just walk across our border and they're given a card and they're given a phone and they're given, hey, we'll get in touch with you when you need it. And here's the town you need to go to and, and hang out. So I don't know what these people are for, but we have no clue who they were. We have no clue who they are. Um, it's just, it's all rotten. It, it, it all stinks. It all, it's all rotten. And, um, I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but you know, you just have to plan for and expect the worst. Um, so, um, that's what I'm doing. That's all I can do. Um, and we're going to have to wait and see what God wants to do. Um, how perilous is he going to let it get? He just let it go to the next level in Israel in the Middle East. So what's he going to do here? And and we saw how easily everybody got put in timeout and how easily, how quickly everybody got controlled. And so um, we have no idea what anybody's going to wind up doing here. We have no idea. Um, but we have to, man, don't get deceived. Just, just you got to persevere in your faith. Just concentrate on Jesus, concentrate on his word, concentrate on his promises and not let what's going on out here splash on you and, and drag you in to what's going on out here in the world. Don't be conformed to it and don't be afraid by it. God said, you're going to hear, you know, wars, rumors of wars and not to, not to freak out, not to, not to get upset. It's just, um, we got to hold what we got, man. Just keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. Trust in the Lord and take it a day at a time. Try to do what we can to take care of our families and ourselves and try our best to be prepared, uh, for whatever God's going to allow uh, to take place here. But, um, you know, I, I wanted to, I've been busy, but I, I really feel led to, uh, start a live and, and I'm kind of, uh, on my, on my enclosed porch where I can fire up the wood stove. <laughs> um, I, I, I really want to do a live, just a little program, a little, um, you know, the JP Dunamis lounge, you know, if you want to call it that, we'll have a, a, a tiki bar. We'll, we'll <laughs> have a coffee bar. I mean, I, I really want to do a live to where um, we just answer questions the best that we can. We'll go through it, look at it, you know, look at the Bible, answer questions. Um, obviously, man, open for prayer. We'll do just open live prayer. Um, so, I, I mean, if we can get some other folks that want to uh, do a video conference type thing where they, they come in to a video chat and kind of join in and, and talk about some things. I, I just want to, I, I really feel led that we should just have an open place where anybody can, can come in and feel safe to just say, Hey man, I'm really wondering about this or I'm really struggling with that or, and, and just give everybody flat out straight out of the word advice or, or, um, you know, let, let God by the Holy Spirit step in and start helping people, um, really, uh, get it together with him and, and really, um, go to the next level in their walk and their faith. So that's what I feel led to do. I'm not for sure uh, what time or, or, or the day or, or how often. I mean, um, I, I really would like to, uh, get through this week and, 
Um, you know, I'll, maybe I'll do a test run where we can we can do a live and um, do some Q and A and do some prayer requests or whatever comes up, whatever the Holy Spirit wants to wants to bring up, and uh, um, you know, start looking at doing that. Um, so um, if we do a live, then um, I can record that and then just post it as a regular video. I, I'm a little reluctant about doing like an hour. I know everybody's busy. Um, there's some other guys that are doing Watchmen stuff that are going long like that. And to be honest with you, I just don't have time. But, um, you know, so this is going to be, I, I think, just an open... And if it goes past an hour, so be it. Um, whatever the Lord wants to bring and whatever needs to be discussed or whatever questions we can help answer. Or, you know, if, if I've been in a similar situation and I can give you my two cents of what happened with my deal and, and what I was going through and how God stepped in. I mean, I'll, I'll be more than willing to share uh, my time to do that. So um, I'm, I'm praying about that. And if you guys will help pray for that, uh, to help lead me, if I can help somebody else. Um, that's what it's about. And that's what I'm, I'm here. I don't have much to give except for just me and my, and my experience. Um, and, you know, and, and share with other people what God shared with me, but, uh, God bless all of you guys. And thank you again, Joe. It, it was just like such a God thing that you did what you did, brother. And that's just awesome. Uh, perfect timing. And, uh, so, um, uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I hope everybody has a blessed day and we, we really, I, I'm going to go ahead and end with prayer, uh, for Israel and for us and for the whole world right now. Heavenly father, you have allowed what's happened in Israel. This is all a part of your plan. You knew exactly what was going to transpire. You, you've known you know the beginning, you know everything to the end, and we're praying and looking, Lord, to you, and we are trusting you, and we know what's going on is horrible. You knew that uh, it was going to be the way it's way it's going. You, you, you know what needs to happen. You, you know what needs to come to pass. You know all of what you're doing. And we just pray, Father God, that we can all sit back and relax and and persevere in our own daily walk in faith in our relationship with you and persevere in our relationships with the others that are in our lives, our loved ones and friends and acquaintances and coworkers, that we would really be able to really shine right now as lights in the dark and that your Holy Spirit would be upon us, Lord, to extend this mercy, grace, love, and security, Lord, that you've extended to all of us. We just pray that we can uh, just really stand tall now, really, really be here for for you, and and to be here for others right now, Lord, that are seeking you, and that that you would just help us, just pour out your Holy Spirit, Lord. So that, that all these people that are lost right now that are looking can get found and get saved. And we, we just ask you, Lord, to just give us wisdom and keep guiding us and give us hope, give us uh, encouragement, give us uh, uh, the, the energy and power that we need through the Holy Spirit. And it, it's not us that is drawing these people, it's your Holy Spirit that's drawing them. It's not us that are helping people get saved. It's, it's allowing your Holy Spirit, Lord, to work in us so that you can do your will and that you can save and you can deliver and you can help these other people. And we just pray, Father God, that we're all open to that and that we're not focused on what's going on down here, but we're focused on what's going on with you and that we're carrying out your will and accomplishing your mission uh, before you decide to take us all out of here. We pray all of these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless everybody. And uh, we're going to get busy here shortly. Um, here in another 10, 15 minutes.
uh, before we're going to get going. So uh, have a blessed day and uh, we'll talk to you later.